Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come on this morning to say thank you, Father God. Father God, we come on this morning to thank you for your blessing, Father God. Because you're already blessed when we woke up this morning, Father God. Father God, I just thank you, Lord God, for another Sunday morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we come on this morning to thank you for Pastor and First Lady, Father God. Father God, we thank you for, for them. We just thank you, thank you, thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. So now, God, in the name of Jesus, whatever we do, whatever we say on this day, Father God, we ask, Father God, that you be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. So now, God, in the name of Jesus, we come to just say thank you, we praise you, we honor you on this morning, Father God. So now, God, we just come to say hallelujah, because hallelujah is the highest form of praise. So on this morning, we give you the highest form of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Come on. She said, we come to say hallelujah. Come on. Somebody ought to give God the highest praise right there. Come on. If you would just think about what he's done for you last night, you would say hallelujah. When you think about what he's done for you this morning, you say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. We came to give him thanks because he's a worthy, worthy God. Hallelujah. Come on. This is an easy song. You can help us sing it.
mustard seed which is the smallest of all seeds on earth yet when it's planted it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants 
with such big branches that the birds can perch in the shade. Thus far the word of God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to talk as the spirit moves from this thought. There's power in your seed. That's right. That's good. Amen. There's power in your seed. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, you met us in the study. Meet us now in the pulpit. Lower us way down in the deep well of your word. Bring us up with a fresh anointing. Give us clarity of mind and speech. Help us, Lord, to see it and then to say it. Now, Lord, fill our mouth with important stuff. Yeah. Then you sit us down when we said enough. Yeah. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 There's power in the seed. Right. I, I, I might as well let you know, uh, lock the door, uh, Usher, uh, that I'm going to talk about money today. Oh. My Lord. I, I know, I know, I know it's going to get a few folks upset. Uh, but so I want to lay the ground rules uh, so that you know uh, where we are and where we're going. Uh, so that you'll, we'll, we'll all be on the same page. Is that all right? Okay. Uh, every week, every week we come in here, we read our vision and our mission. I, and, and, and I believe in our vision and our mission. And, and, and my prayer is that we read it not just for some rote uh, 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 wrote activity, but that it, we will internalize what our vision and our mission is. Uh, that these words will, will, will seep deep into our spirit and help us to galvanize this faith community and strengthen this congregation. Uh, a few years ago, we almost lost this church. Well, Can I say it again? A few years ago, they were talking about foreclosing on our beautiful home here at 12 Prospect Street, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God, God. this benevolent uh, congregation, uh, our trustee board, and the help of God, we raised the money to bring us current up on our mortgage. Now, I, I normally don't preach sermons on money. I, I really don't. I, I, I'm not that type of preacher. I, I usually preach about the goodness, the grandeur, and the greatness of God. Uh -huh. I, I like to preach about oh, what you can accomplish with the help of God. I, I like to preach about spiritual transformation and the way God shows up and shows out, changes and rearranges us, makes uh -huh. us new creatures in Christ. That, uh -huh. That's my preaching style. Uh, so, so, so I don't preach much about money because I learned a long time ago to seek ye first uh -huh. the kingdom of God and all these other things uh -huh. shall be added. Uh -huh. See, God first. And, and money shall be added. Seek right. God first. Yeah, God. And material blessings yeah. shall be added. Seek yeah. God first. Right. And peace of mind shall be added. If you seek God first. Yes. So there's a problem in Christendom. Uh, the problem is with our stewardship. Uh -huh. Stewardship in, in, in the Christian faith is simply defined as giving of your time, your tithes, and your talents. Yeah. Uh, your time, your tithes, and your talents. Yeah. And, and, and what, what it's for is to take care of what God has given you. You are the steward. You are uh, the benefactor. You are the custodian of what God has given you. Mm, well. Now, I know, I know, I see y'all think y'all did it on your own. I, I know, I know. You, you, you got it going on. I, I, I know your resume. I've seen it. But God is the giver yes, yes, of right. all good yes. and perfect gifts. Yes. And some of us believe that 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 because we come to church once a week, we we put a few dollars in the building fund and a, a certain amount in the general offering that offering that we are good stewards. Uh -huh. uh, then then I see people dropping paper on. Our floor. Amen. They don't pick it up. Well. Step over the garbage. Amen. 
going to the parking lot to drive your new car. Did I say new car? Uh, and, and, and don't let service go too long. Oh, Lord. Then, then, then everybody's got a problem. But, 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 but there are those that, that, that don't give because they don't believe that they need to give. Uh, uh, they, 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 they don't believe that God is that important until the next time they get in trouble. Uh, until the next time they get sick. Uh, in, in time, uh, until the next time their children get in trouble. And, and then we, we, we understand that God is foremost in their life. Uh, they know how to pray. They know when to pray. Well, I submit to you today that, that, that God's people have a problem with stewardship. Amen. Uh, we worry about bills and mortgages while, while, while the African American community, we are the largest consumers in the world. Wow. Oh, A Nelson God. report uh, puts black buying at $1.2 trillion. That's trillion with a T. My Lord. Uh -huh. Oh, we know how to spend money. Oh, yeah. we, we, we know how to, 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 to buy what we want. We're nothing but consumers. We spend more uh, uh, for things we don't even need. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the more we get, the more we want. We, we live on credit cards, checking go loans, and spend down to our last dime. Uh, I see y'all y'all walking around with Louis Vuitton bag with $5 in it. I'd rather have a plastic bag with $5,000 in it than a Louis Vuitton with $5 in it. Uh, then there are those that believe uh, that, that you know, uh, uh, the church and the preacher, you, you know, they're supposed to be poor. Wow. Well. Live from the pit. Yes, it is. Supposed to live from paycheck to paycheck. That's a lie That's from right. the pit. Well, and many, many of us believe that it's all right to be poor. You, 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 you do know you can be poor making six figures. Uh -huh. Well, uh, we, we don't, we don't teach living uh, off of eighty percent of our income, investing ten percent, and tithing ten percent. We don't teach that. Well, I, I did say tithing ten percent. Amen. We live off 110%. I know that's right. This mentality keeps us stagnant and limited in our giving to the work and to the building of the kingdom of God. What, what are you saying, preacher? We, we, we can't give to the church because we're too busy giving to Macy's. We're too busy giving to Amazon and uh, City Financial and Wells Fargo. And we're too busy giving to everybody else. But to the church. As the black church, we have a distinct cultural uh, uh, agenda which speaks to and encourages us to move uh, towards transformation. It was the black church that was at the forefront of all the movement uh, 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 that helped uh, propose to propel black folks in this country. Mm. Uh, it, it's my heart's desire that this congregation will move in the direction of financial uh, transformation personally and as a church. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to help you do it. Wow. Uh, uh, cultural, uh, uh, culturally, we are just consumers. Uh, but we've got to move from a consumer culture uh, to a productive culture. We've got to become entrepreneurs. But do you know the church is a business? Amen. Amen. It was probably one of the first black businesses that they allowed us to have. Amen. And because of the black church, because they allowed us to, to put our dimes and nickels together and build churches, out of the churches came insurance companies. Out of the churches came uh, our educational institutions. It was out of the church. Amen. The old church understood the importance of stewardship. They, they weren't too intellectual to understand that God can make a way out of no way. Uh, we didn't have two nickels to rub together to make a dime. We knew we had to give to the church. And we purchased land and we built churches. We opened up community centers. We collectively worked toward building the kingdom of God. I'm talking about the old church. Uh, this was the rule of collective economics. 
That's nothing new. We knew how to pool our money together to create these great uh, uh, churches that help transform us as a people. Yeah. We built churches. Uh -huh. We made less, but we gave more. And as a result of giving more, we received more. That's right. Uh -huh. As Christians, we seek uh, a, a word from the Lord to, to faithfully and realistically live and thrive on the presence uh, uh, of that word in our daily lives. I, I still believe in preaching and teaching the word of God. I, I believe it's still relevant. Even in a time of Zoom, even in a time of virtual church, I believe in preaching this gospel. Yes. I'm going to preach whether it's five people or 5,000 people yes. because I know the power of preaching. Amen. I believe people still respond to an authentic right. word from the Lord. Yes. I, I still believe that the church, uh, uh, the church views life through the lenses of faith. Uh, we're people of faith. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Uh, just look at our history. A a as a people, we made it on faith and prayer. Uh, our faith is alive, uh, consuming, and all-powerful. I believe in faith. Yes. When we didn't have a thing, uh, anything else in this world, we had faith. Yes. When we couldn't work in certain areas, we had faith. Yes. Uh, when uh, the workplaces um, wouldn't allow us there, we had faith. Yes. We opened churches. We built churches. We sent our children to school because we had faith. Yes. Amen. Yes. We didn't have the resources, but we had faith. That's right. Had faith that God was going to, uh, or we were going to make it somehow. That's right. And, 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 and what was our giving style? It was biblical. Bring your tithes to the storehouse. Mm -hmm. That there will be food, meat in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not open the windows of heaven, shower you out blessings that you will not have room enough to receive. Mm -hmm. uh, our giving is uh, a manifestation of our faith. Mm -hmm. God, I tell folks all the time, God doesn't need your money, well, right. but you showing up need God's money. Oh, that's right, that's you right. need God's strength. You need God's uh, uh, all that yes. he supplies to us each and every day. Uh, our giving is primary. Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Our giving is full of promises. All the promises of God are yes and amen. Yes. You can stand on the promises of God. So in our text today, Jesus again is in teaching mode, teaching in parables. Mm. The African way of pedagogy. Uh, it's not, uh, it, we don't do it today. And I, I, every time I get into the classroom, I tell a story. I, I tell stories uh, because Jesus taught in stories. He didn't use linear arguments, syllogisms. Jesus taught by telling stories once upon a time. Mm -hmm. There once was a king. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 three little pigs <laughs> uh, all have moral messages. So, so Jesus said the kingdom of God is like this. It's compared to a mustard seed. Uh -huh. you, you do know a mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds that you can find. Mm -hmm. He said the kingdom of God is like this. Compared it to uh, what is in your hand. A, a, a small seed, a small insignificant something that, that, can, that can grow into something so much larger. Mm -hmm. Kingdom building begins with a mustard seed of faith. The mustard seed is uh, one of the smallest, but, but it grows into one of the largest plants in the field. Mm. The kingdom is built on the principle of a wellspring of blessings to others. Mm. A place where God dwells with God's people. When we talk about vision, uh, we, uh, we sense a call from God, which starts as a small thing that goes beyond the walls to affect the lives of other people. When we started New Life, it was a small thing. Mm -hmm. You do know there are no such thing as small churches, though. Wow. Stop saying, I go to a small church. Mm -hmm. Jesus had 12 that turned the world upside down. That's right. That's but, right. but it was a small, 
mustard seed of faith. And, and, and we started uh, this work and said, we are going to help build the kingdom of God while we are yet here. So when I preach it, 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 it shouldn't just affect you. It should affect those that you are connected to. Mm -hmm. Don't you know you are blessed because you are connected to a blessed covering? Why do you think? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know you work hard. I know you got it going on. You My as soon Lord. as they come, and you think you as smart as... There's somebody spinning on the bar stop. Yeah, that's right. That's that right. can do your job. That's right. Uh, they've got engineers. They've got doctors that are eating at a shelters right now because right. they cuckoo, but they don't know who they are. Wow. It's the grace of God yeah, that's right. that yeah. gives you everything that that's you right. need. That's good. So we ask, can the whole kingdom of God come from a small mustard seed? Uh, can this little seed contain the kingdom? New life, can you hold all that God wants to do it with this ministry, with what's in your hand, with the seed that's in your hand? And I say, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Can you move this ministry beyond where it is now? Can you contain the blessings that God is getting ready to give you with the seed that you have in your hand? But you've got to release that seed. So when we consider expanding ministries and funding for facilities and, and envisioning where God desires to take us, we've got to understand we've got the seed. Mm. We've got the seed of faith. Mm. Stop letting people talk you out of your blessings. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God expects us to expand. God has given us the blueprint and the model and the example in the mustard seed. All you need is something small and it will become the greatest, uh, the greatest tree in the field. Yes. The church exists in the community to meet the needs of the community. If we miss those opportunities, we miss God. Yes. Now, I, I, I don't want us to just have a beautiful sanctuary and, 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 and I know it's beautiful but and, and then think that we somehow arrived oh, uh, if, if that's our thinking then we missed God that's right. I, I don't want just uh, to be in a building complacent comfortable and miss God our growth can't be for boasting rights. Look what we did. Look at our sanctuary. Right. We, we, when we do that we miss God <clears throat> Our focus can't be just inward, but we must be also outwardly focused. Uh -huh. yes. Many churches, there is a perception because we have a building. We've got beams and brick and mortar that somehow we've arrived, but with nothing, uh, nothing else this pandemic has taught us is that we don't really need buildings. Uh -huh. uh, that the word is going to continue to go forward. Right. Uh, whether the building is shut down or not, That's we right. still have ministry to do. That's right. So don't get caught up in just the building, but we must keep building. Uh, and, and, and this may be a sidebar, but, but the church is not a building. The church is in us. Well, Individually, we are the church. Right. Uh, we're portable sanctuaries. Yes. Uh, we don't leave church at home to come to a building. Well, we bring the church to the building well, so that we can have church. We've been given the seeds to transform this community, to transform this state to transform this country, and to transform the world. Every church in the world started as a new church. Uh, but every church will not become a kingdom church uh, because kingdom churches expand the kingdom of God. Uh, I'm done, but let me just share a couple of little points. What happens when the seed is sown? Uh, when you release the seed of faith, when you release what's in your hand, uh, I, I want to pose a question to you today. Are the seeds God planted within you lying dormant? What is it that could bless this ministry? 
My Lord. Uh, what seeds have you been given or you planted in uh, your vineyard to expand the kingdom of God? Uh -huh. uh, when the seed is sown, it's not a question if the seed will expand. Uh, the point is when the seed will expand. Uh, you've got to sow your seed. Uh, it's never, uh, the question shouldn't be uh, uh, how are we going to meet the mortgage? My Lord. The question should be how soon can we pay it off? Well, the question is not what happens when we get behind. The question should be uh, what, are, what are our giving patterns? Uh -huh. what, and, and what is it that we have to do? Some folks believe uh, that they've given enough. Mm -hmm. My Lord. And, and others compare their giving to others. Mm -hmm. All those assumptions of giving are wrong. That's right. That's right. You never compare your giving sure to someone else. That is correct. That's right. How in the world can you ever think that you've given enough? My Lord. Or that you're giving more to someone else? Uh, Jesus gave an illustration with the woman with the, uh, with the two little mites. All the big willies and the big shops were giving from their abundance. But this sister bought all that she had. And he said that those little mites are more than all the big willies that are giving. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever get to a place that you think because you can give more well. that you uh, are doing more for the kingdom. Yes. Right. All of us should be giving. Yes. All of us should be sowing. Right. Amen. Everyone in the church is charged to give. That's right. Mm -hmm. Preachers, give. Mm -hmm. Musicians, Give. Amen. Trustees, oh, give. Wow. Deacons, give. Wow. Ushers, give. Uh -huh. Pew members, everyone is charged to give. Amen. Not in comparison to others, mm -hmm. but you're charged to give. That's right. right. That's right. I want to suggest that we all have something to give. Uh -huh. We all have gifts. We all have resources and the ability to do ministry. Ministry is more than just preaching. Uh, you can teach a parakeet how to preach. Okay. Uh, but, but, but you have to plant your seed in the right place. Uh, the mustard seed is a tiny uh, morsel, a tiny little seed. Uh, we all have to start with a seed. Sowing seeds of faith beyond what already with what you're already doing in the ministry. Our seed uh, is our tithe. Our seed is our faith. Our seed is uh, what we can see the church becoming. Our seed is when we come and give an encouraging word to the choir. When we give an encouraging word to the musicians. And yeah. we say, I think we can grow this. I know we can do better. I know we can uh, bring more folks in. Amen. 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 So when we sow a seed, uh, the Bible says it becometh greater than all the herbs and shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. <clears throat> when we sow our seed, yeah. uh, the church becomes that resting place. Yeah. Uh, the church uh, is able to grow when we sow our individual seed. The ministry is able to expand uh, what we are called to do. We can feed the poor. We can minister to the broken right, right. We can give sight to the blind. We can be a comfort yeah. to those that need comfort. Right. Uh, I, I, hear, I, I hear it all the time. We're a small church. No such thing, y'all. Uh, I told you, Jesus started with 12. The apostles turned the world upside down. Uh, if the church is going to fulfill its calling, if we're going to live out our vision and our mission, uh, we all have to be good stewards of what God has given us. That's right. I'm done. 
Preach, preach. Many of you think that the church only wants your money. Well, I, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Uh, but stop and think about that mentally. When you go to the grocery store, do you say this store just wants my money? Well, no. <laughs> when, when you go buy a new car, and I see some new cars in the parking lot. My Lord. I, I did drive it. When you go buy a new car, do you say General Motors just wants my money? No. When you go to the mall, do you say this mall just wants my money? Oh, my God. Uh, you don't say that about the grocery store. You don't say it about the car dealer or the mall. Why? Because that is not the issue. The issue is that you need food and the grocery store has food. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, the value you place on the food Come that on. you need uh -huh. makes it legitimate right. for you to pay for what you receive. Right. You need a car. Right. So it makes sense right. that you go buy a vehicle uh -huh. to get to where you need to go. Right. Right. You need clothes. So you go to the mall. Uh -huh. You go on Amazon uh -huh. to find what you need. In other words, it's not the places uh, that want your money, uh, but they are providing something that you absolutely need. Amen. We need God. Yeah. We need spiritual help. Yeah. We need spiritual guidance. Yeah. We need spiritual light. Yeah. We need training for our children. Yeah. We need to know God's ways. Yeah. Uh, store for physical food. We ought to be willing to come to the house of God for spiritual food without whining about it, without complaining about it. The question is not, does the church want my money? The question is, does the church serve good food? Now, if you're being fed, there shouldn't be a question about you giving. True story. Danny Simpson, at the age of 24, he robbed the bank in Ottawa, Canada. He robbed it at gunpoint, and he got $6,000. Shortly after that, he was captured. The tragedy of the story is that the weapon that he robbed the bank with was a 1918 45 caliber semi-automatic revolver uh, that was worth $100,000. <laughs> Danny's problem was that he uh, didn't know what he had in his hand. Well, if he had known what he had in his right. hand, he probably wouldn't have chosen to be a thief. What he had in his possession would have given him so much more. If Christians only knew what they had
young man just last night. He said it was it was yeah. tragic. They just funeralized his uncle. And he said nobody knew uh, the uncle. He wasn't a member of anybody's church. That's right. They had to find someone to eulogize him. What a tragedy to get to the end of your journey. Not being connected. Now, I don't know if he was connected to God or not. That's right, that's right. But I know he wasn't connected to a church. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want I don't want somebody that doesn't know my work mm -hmm. to stand over me right. and try to preach me into glory. My yeah. God. Well, well, well. Let the work I've done mm -hmm. speak for me. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Come on, I want to pray for you, then we're going to receive, we're going to worship through our giving. That's, that's right, that's right. right. Our God and our Father, we've come to this time in our worship. That we come to you first to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are the giver of all good and perfect gifts. That's right. That's right. You've met all of our need according to your riches and glory. Even when we are undeserving, God, you still bless us. Make ways out of no way. Open doors that no man can shut. And then, God, you, you even shut doors that no one should look in. We thank you, Lord, that you've been better to us than we are to ourselves. When we didn't have sense enough to come in out of the storm, you were a shelter in the time of storm. When we didn't know which direction to go, God, you continue to lead us and direct us. You held back all manner of danger. When we put ourselves in dangerous situations, God, you were there. When we went places we shouldn't have gone, you were there. And God, we want to say thank you right now. Thank you, oh God, for looking over our families, oh God. Watching over us as our children are away in school. As our children go back and forth to school, God, you, you keep them in your care. You keep them protected. And we want to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and your mercy that's brand new every day. You give us new mercies, God, and we want to thank you. Now, Lord, we thank you for the portion of health and strength that we do have. We may have aches and pains in our body, but God, we thank you that it's as well as it is. We thank you, God, we still have the activity of our limbs. We still have the articulation of speech. We still are in our right mind. God, we say thank you. We thank you for a place that we can call home. New Life Christian Church, Disciples of Christ. We thank you, Lord, that we started with a mustard seed of faith. And God, we're going to continue to sow what's in our hands. So that we can grow the kingdom of God here on this side. So that when we do transition, you will say, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up from labor to reward. God, we thank you right now. When we were sick, you healed our body. When we were in trouble, God, you made ways out of no way. When we didn't know how we were going to pay the bills, God, you came through. Helped us to raise those children and grandchildren. And we want to say thank you. Now, Lord, we thank you for the mustard seeds that you have given to each of us. Seeds 
of businesses, seeds of going back to school or finishing school. God, you, you, you've given us all the seed. All we need is, is to sow the seed. Oh, God, right now, somebody, somebody, somebody's dream is being fulfilled. Somebody's uh, reactivating that dream, oh, God. We say thank you right now. Knowing, God, that with you we can do all things but fail. So right now, God, we say thank you for the manifestation. We thank you for what we know is, is, is coming, God. Bless us as we wait on it. Bless us as we work towards it, oh God. Lord, we know the joy is in the journey. So we're giving you praise. We're giving you honor right now. Continue to bless this church. We're not a perfect church, but we're a perfecting church. You send more members, oh God. You send the right people. You send the wrong. Send the people, oh God. They don't have to look like us, smell like us, act like us. But Lord, you said who you will to help build the kingdom of God here on earth. God, we love you today. Now, Lord, there, there's somebody today that is going through. That's right. But Lord, the operative word is through. So we're placing it all at the altar right now. We're, we're placing every situation, every circumstance, every problem. We place it at the altar, oh God. And any way you move, any way you work it out, Lord, we'll be satisfied. And we'll be careful to say that it was you. Lord, you've done it before and do it again. Heal sick bodies. Open blinded eyes. Lord, somebody needs a financial breakthrough, but God, we know you want cattle on a thousand here. Now, Lord, help us to be good stewards of what you have already given us. Lord, with that grateful heart, we may be able to see more clearly that you've already provided all that we need. Bless us only as thou can. We thank you for your son Jesus that died on yonder's cross for all of our sins. Thank you, Lord, that, that he died for us. That we no longer have to pay that penalty. That he took on the penalty. And then, Lord, he rose on the third day with all power in his hands. That is our faith confession. We thank you for the plan of salvation. Bless all those that are online and those that are in the sanctuary. Keep us, oh God, in your care. This is our prayer. This is our hope. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name above all other names, in Jesus' name. In the name that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. In Jesus' name. Come on, say amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Bless the Lord. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, we're going to worship through our giving. We have made it so convenient to give to sow, to be good stewards of what God has given each of us. If you're giving in person, we are 12 Prospect Street here at New Life Christian Church. If you're giving by way of PayPal, it is newlifebloomfield at gmail.com. If you're giving by way of Cash App, 973-670-1899. Again, 973-670-1899. If you're giving by way of Giveafly, 
It is New Life Christian Church in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Amen. Our mailing address is 12 Prospect Street, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Again, 12 Prospect Street, Bloomfield, New Jersey. to give to the work of the Lord. Sowing what's in your hands. Sowing that mustard seed of faith. Amen. Jesus said this is what the kingdom of God is like. It's like this little mustard seed. But you've got to sow it. you got to plant it. Amen. You've got to release it. Let us stand. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own. interested in participating please see trustee clark and again that is december 10th from 8 p.m to 9 30 p.m voices of praise will have our anniversary christmas cantata amen. 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 that will be held on saturday december 18th at 5 30 p.m here at New Life Christian Church, and we're expecting to see all members. We're expecting you to invite your family and friends to come celebrate with us during our anniversary Christmas cantata. And that is all that I have for you for our announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly and mark your calendars. Have a blessed week. Amen. Thank you, Trustee Burns. Amen. Uh, certainly, we want to. Uh, congratulate uh, East Orange campus football team. One of my own members, Samir Grissom, is on that winning team. They are 10-0. They are in the playoffs. Amen. Going to 
either Giant Stadium or Rutgers. Amen. Oh, so man. let's give them a big hand. Oh, We had a concert this evening at 6 p.m. If you are not busy, please uh, go to Montclair State. It's going to be held in the Student Center. Amen. 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 So I'm planning on going and uh, listening to some some great music. Amen. Amen. New Life, we're a blessed church. Amen. So much going on. So much. So many blessings in the community. Amen. You don't know how many people are talking about new life and how far reaching we go. Amen. With what what's going on here. We're in schools. We're we're everywhere. We're everywhere. And so uh, it's just an attestation of what you can do when you sow a seed. Amen. 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 When you sow that seed. Eyes have not seen or ears heard the great, great work that God has in store for this church. Amen. Amen. I, I believe that 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 we're just getting started. Amen. And I am no ways tired. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Clark just had surgery. He's back. He had two surgeries. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It was this week. It's coming. Amen. So we're believing, we're believing for complete healing. We pray for the surgeons for him to go get work right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Complete healing. Amen. Look like we are a blessed church. I see the blessings that flow in this church. Amen. Don't get Beside yourself right. and think that it's you. That's right. That's right. If God could show you the complete picture, it's, it's all things work together. That's right. That's right. You had some grandmama way down in somebody's field praying for you. Amen. And so it's a culmination of prayers of the saints that have. Call it a, a cloud of witnesses Amen. that are watching over us. A cloud of witnesses. Amen. Let us stand and be dismissed. At six o'clock today, Montclair State. Thank mm -hmm. you.